These boys have been getting after you today. They got about, well, pushing half of the purlins on. Everything's coming together pretty nicely. I just got all the overhang, the short overhang boards cut, and I'm gonna try to get these stuck on and get the uh, fascia figured out for down the sides and up the gables. And Daddy decided he wants to put some kind of a gable covering on, which I think will make it look a little more finished to have some metal on the gable, even if it's slanted up. Uh, just make it look, look a little more complete, not being have rafters exposed. But everything's coming together. Another day and a half, maybe. One kind of cool thing about this building is there's only a handful of wood to wood connections. So everything should be a whole lot stronger because you've got screws going straight through metal into wood and plenty of them because there's four screws at every connection. The only wood to wood connections that there are is this last run of purlins down through here. You can see in order for them to do the overhang like they do where you got the two cups turned opposite direction here, they couldn't put a cup here. Um, so the only wood to wood connections will be this last run of purlins down through here and the fascia boards go here. So it's gonna be pretty dang stout. And you can see we, we've, they've only got one, well there's part of the purlins on that end and then the purlins up this end. We're gonna have to square it up just a little bit but that's no problem when uh, we get ready to put the steel on. We use ratchet straps and I'll show you how that works. That we twist the building and pull it around and measure corner to corner to get the roof good and square before we start screwing steel on. And that's how we get our, we square our roof. So we've got plenty of ratchet straps and it's just one click at a time. You can square it up just perfect. But I'm just trying to get this fascia stuff figured out while they're working on the purlins over there. bunch of missing footage here since uh, the last little clip but the guys got all the purlins on this building and right now they're in the process of putting the trim around the uh, overhangs and we'll be ready to put some ratchet straps on this thing get it squared up and start putting steel on I had left the last part of this uh, video. I don't know why I was missing some missing some footage there, but left it kind of open-ended. But I just wanted to catch y'all up on where we're at, and um, I will will definitely get a video when we're putting some steel on. This is coming together pretty pretty nice. It looks really good. It's. Uh, the posts themselves are square, but once you get a post frame shed like this up in the air, you're not gonna end up with the roof system perfectly square. So we've got to do some pulling and twisting to get it really good and square. That way we can get our metal on nice and straight because one of my biggest pet peeves is to see metal put on a building staggered, even if it's just an eighth of an inch. 
that's not all right. It needs to be perfectly straight down the overhang. But we're gonna um, get this thing pulled around square and get some steel put on it here in the next couple of days. And I'll definitely make a video of that when we start and just walk you through and show you how we do all that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.